Hi friends. Today we are going to see an interesting topic. It's easy job. But it's a challenging job in oil and gas field. Before steering this job we want to maintain good safety rule. It's very very interesting job from my side. Now we can go into the video. Before that subscribe my channel and press bell icon. Welcome you all. Now we are going to see about hydro test. What is hydro test? Hydrodist involves a test which is performed with the help of water. Passed through the pipelines or tanks or any fuel carrying vessels. In order to inspect any leakages in the material assembly. This test also helps in understanding the pressure loss inside the pipeline system. This is done by shutting down the supply valve and pressurizing the vessel at the required pressure. The liquid will flow inside the pipeline and simultaneously. The pressure loss inside the pipeline is observed. This method helps the management in the deciding the installations of gas compressors over the large distance. Pipelines and estimating the numbers of compressors to be used so that gas can be compressed and transported over long distances. At the required pressure without any pressure drop in the pipeline system. Hydrodist or hydrostatic test is one of the most common methods used for testing the pressure of vessels, pipelines, tanks, for any leakages on pressurization integrity of the system. Now we can see what are the hazards during hydro test. Breaking or failure of line, gasket, flanges, and gauges. Air entrapment inside the pipe. Usage of an engine operated pump. Inadvertently or suddenly increase of pressure. Due to underrated or non calibrated pressure gauges. Substandard support. PSV failure. Now we can see about process of hydro test. Hydro testing of pressure is a mandatory activity before finalization of any new or modified system. It is the final check of mechanical integrity of the whole system. And should be followed religiously as after this activity. The system has to be commissioned. This test is carried out at a pressure 1.5 times higher than the design pressure of a system regardless of the service conditions of a system. This article discuss some of the major requirements of hydrostatic testing of pressure. Now I can tell some guidelines of hydro test. All joints in a test section shall be accessible during tests and shall not be painted, insulated, backfilled or otherwise covered until satisfactory. Completion of testing in accordance with the requirements in the specification. All equipment and piping to be pressure tested shall be thoroughly cleaned of all dirt, welding slag, construction debris, or other foreign matter. All vents and other connections which can serve as vents shall be open during filling. So that all air is vented prior to applying test pressure to the system. Test vents shall be installed at high points. Drain points for fluid disposal after testing, shall be provided. Equipment which is not to be subjected to pressure test shall be either disconnected from the piping or blocked off during the test. Temporary spades and blanks installed for testing purposes shall be designed to withstand the test pressure without distortion. Presence of spades shall be clearly visible during testing. Spring supports shall be restrained or removed and expansion bellows removed during hydrostatic testing. Barriers shall be erected and with practical public address announcements made and access restriction procedures such as permit to work implemented prior to any pressurization commencing. An important aspect is that materials used in pressure systems comply with all the required tests. All materials are certified and that the engineer has made the right choice of materials. Testing equipment such as pumps, manifold, pressure and temperature recorders, pressure gauges should be within calibration certification and connected to the lowest convenient connection within the system to ensure best results. Control valves and soft seal block valves shall be removed from the piping prior to the test and replaced with pipe spools. Strainer elements, filter elements, joints and pressure relieving devices such as ruptured discs and pressure relief valves. All locally mounted indicating pressure gauges. Now we can see about testing. Strainer elements, 
filter elements, expansion joints, and pressure relieving devices, such as rupture discs and pressure relief valves. All locally mounted indicating pressure gauges. The system shall be filled from the lowest available point, all vents and high point connections shall be opened during this operation to allow the air in the system to vent off. After the system has been completely vented all vents and drains should be plugged or blinded. Verify that valves are in place and open, closed as required. Maintain pressure for 10 minutes and then gradually increase pressure and steps of one-tenth of the test pressure until the test pressure is attained. The recommended practice of a QC inspector is to walk through the whole piping system and check for leaks. Every single length of piping, welds, bolted connections shall be visually examined for any leakage. Whenever a leak is found from flanged connection, it is advisable not to perform any tightening before the system pressure is brought down to at least 70%. After any leaks have been repaired the system shall again be pressurized to the test pressure and stages. The test should be witnessed and accepted by a third party, client representative or a responsible person within the company and signed as accepted. Pressure and ambient temperatures should be recorded throughout the complete test cycle. These charts should form part of the hydrostatic test documentation. On completion of the test, the system shall be depressurized by controlled means and all vents opened prior to draining of the system to avoid any vacuum within the system. Now we can see how to calculate hydro test pressure. Hydro test pressure is 1.5 times of design pressure. A design temperature above the test temperature, minimum test pressure can be calculated. If a test pressure would produce a stress in excess of the yield strength the test temp, the test pressure may be reduced to maximum pressure that will not exceed the yield strength the test temp. If the test pressure of piping exceeds the vessel pressure and it is not considered practicable to isolate piping from vessel, the piping and vessel may be tested together at test pressure of the vessel when approved by owner and provided the test pressure for a vessel is not less than 115%. Of piping design pressure adjusted for temperature is per point number 2.